Hey everybody, welcome to uh, my text tutorial. This is something everybody's wanted on my channel, it seems like, uh, for the most part. So, um, yeah, I think, you know, let's just hop. more on each side and have both of them
largest letters so these i like having just going out in different directions so hit control j and then use your arrow keys to go So that's what I'm just going to do right now. Alright, so, you know, now you have the letters separated. Now it's time for the shading, um, which, this is something I do, like, even not on text, just on renders in general, and on, you know, like, 3D banners and non-MC stuff. It's, you know, something that's pretty common. Uh, but with Minecraft, you know, I don't really see it done too often, but you want to make another layer, uh, and click this little air, uh, thing over here. I don't know really how to describe this. Uh, it's just right above the colors. Click it so it makes it black and white. And uh, bring your hardness down on your brush and pretty much make a new layer over your text. And hold Alt and click in between the layers so it parents to that layer. And then now uh, you shade. I, I don't really know how to describe shading. Uh, but like when one letter when one letter overlays another letter, just put black there, or just shade there, make a shadow there. You could do this with a drop shadow; it just ends up not looking as good, and it looks a lot better when you shade it, you know, manually. But if you're in a rush and I don't know, don't worry about quality. You know, you can do that. But yeah, you just want to do this for every letter, um, and you know, wherever it's overlaid by another letter, just shade there so yeah so once you've done that you can merge all your layers now and you have this uh now control j go to your filter gallery whoops go to your filter gallery and stylize bring your edge width to three and go and put that on color dodge and now you know just i just erase large chunks like i don't even pay attention to what i erase i just go ahead and erase whatever once you've done that, uh, select both your layers, Control J, merge them, go back into Filter Gallery and go to uh, Sketch, and click on Chrome. Now click OK, uh, well actually no, go to Chrome and put your detail all the way to 10 and your smoothness, uh, put it at 0, click OK and go to Color Dodge, and then now erase uh, parts you know you just don't necessarily like this is all personal preference at this point 
All right, guys. So once you're done with that, that's pretty much it, um, except for uh, selecting all layers and merging them one last time to go to the blur. And now blur it by two and just unblur edges and certain areas you don't think should be blurred. Um, but I like just blurring out certain parts. It makes it look cool, makes it have, you know, some sense of depth. And um, yeah, once you're done with that, uh, you can just group them, put it into a banner, like. Yeah, if you enjoyed, drop a like, share with your friends. I'll see you guys, you know, in a few days for... See you guys tomorrow, actually, for the top 10. And, uh, yeah, peace out.